Yeah. Hello, my name is Elaine Brelsford and I'm with the American Quilter Society here in Paducah for Quilt Week. And we are here talking about a quilt that was in the large wall quilt, hand quilted and sponsored by Fairfield, made by Edna Deppen. And we are here to talk with Cindy Deppen, her daughter-in-law. The name of the quilt is Floating Stars, and can you tell us a little bit about the quilt? It has quite a story behind it. It does. Uh, my mother-in-law made the quilt in 2014 as part of the Red, White, and Beautiful Challenge with her Gold Coast Quilt Guild in Boca Raton, Florida that she's a, a member of. Um, and while she was, she was diagnosed with a rare disease at the time, and we didn't know what it was, so this was her way of of just getting beyond it all. She she sat in her chair all day and she quilted on this beautiful quilt and it actually won Judge's Choice in the Guild Challenge. So um, in December she submitted it for Paducah because she came every single year Aww. she was here. There was very few years that she didn't make it to Paducah. So she, she submitted it for the show. Um, unfortunately she passed away in, in February so she was not able to see it or know that it actually made it into the show but I did and and thankfully Andrea was wonderful working with me and helping nice. me get it to the show and and here she is here she is part of it and so. it is beautifully hand quilted yeah and this is what she did sort of for her therapy it was it was and yeah. there's not a diamond that's untouched with beautiful hand quilting on this there's not there's over a thousand of them in there and every single one of them she she put her touch on it. She was amazing hand quilter. She really was. She did a wonderful job with hand quilting. Do you know why she chose this particular design? Because it was such a challenge. Okay. She loved challenges. Just, I mean, some of the other quilts that she's had. Now, she had a quilt in the show in 2010. It was called Crop, Crop Circles in My Stash. She designed it, the whole pattern put it all together and had it submitted to the show. So that's another piece that's just an amazing, wow. amazing piece that she had here. So yeah, for her, it was the challenge. It was the challenge. Well, mm -hmm. that's quite, quite a story with this quilt. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your situation now with all of her quilting supplies. I have lots of quilting supplies now. Um, I pretty much inherited everything. Uh, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law passed away in 2007. So when he passed away, this was my way of, of being able to do things with Edna. So I learned how to quilt, and she just had a ball teaching me how to quilt. So um, I do that now, and this was, uh, it, it was quickly, the wheel was quickly changed so that Cindy got <laughs> all the quilts and, and all the fabric, and I have a, a large 10 by 10 storage unit at the moment full of of quilting supplies to so what kind of last quilting have forever. you found that you enjoy did she teach you the hand quilts she did but i'm not very good at the hand quilting so there was a piece she did a class from my guild several years ago and uh, i still have that that's not finished mm -hmm. two and a half years later but that's okay I'll, I'll learn i'll learn the patience of it but yeah i'm, I'm pretty much a lot of squares still I, I do a lot of squares. You put together a lot of squares. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you, the hand quilting is just so relaxing. It, really it is. is. It's, it's very therapeutic. Yeah. So what beautiful. happens to the quilt from here? From here, it's going to go to the museum in Delray Beach, Florida, along with the rest of the quilts that are in the challenge. And it'll be okay. displayed there from October uh, 2014 till February 2015. So, yeah. Right. Because it was, the, it was the judge's choice, so it's the star of the literally the star of the show I so yes yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. lots and so of people. then after the show after the exhibits after the exhibits it'll come home and, and we'll we'll decide from there she did have a this year's challenge quilt that she had started for the guild um, which she did not get finished so it's now become my responsibility to complete that quilt and the interesting part is that the theme behind it is called 50 shades of gray Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh so that one, goodness. I have the top together. I just finished putting the top together, so now I have to work on what I'm going, going to do with the quilting with it. But the guild's wonderful. They're going to, you know, let me submit that in her name for the for the challenge for this year. You've so, inherited quite a legacy, really. I did. It's really sweet. I did, and I sweet. take full responsibility of it, and I love every minute that's, of it. That's she was fabulous. She was such a wonderful lady, and she taught me so much. So, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. And that is really the loveliness of quilting, is to share it with somebody else. It is. Mm -hmm. It is, because now my mother's doing it. Um, so she's kind of inherited some of the fabric, oh, and my aunt quilts now, and 
So yeah, it's, it's getting spread throughout the family. She definitely left a legacy for all of us. That is wonderful. What a great story. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much for sharing it with Thank us. Thank you. Thank you.